It was the second director, Friar Gabriele Gian Berardini, who steered the Maschi Center towards the study of Oriental Christianity. The Franciscan Center for Oriental Studies was founded in 1954 for the custody of the Holy Land. Its director today is Fra Vincenzo Misri, who says that the center's library has become an important meeting place for Catholic and Orthodox scholars. Coptic students, most of them members of the laity, come to find documents and information in this, the first Christian library in Cairo. Over time, the library has also become a center of contact with Islam. La classe colta musulmana ha cominciato a frequentare the Muslim intelligentsia has begun to frequent the library, also to carry out research into Christianity. These scholars are interested in Muslim-Christian encounters, for example, in the Crusades. They want to know why the popes supported these Crusades, why the Crusaders came here, and what they did here. And this is all to the good in that the sources can be viewed objectively rather than from a one-sided point of view. The documents which Muslims are keen to see are mostly papal bulls, but they are also interested in the lives of the saints and the history of European Christianity. So there is a responsibility to promote awareness and encounter. There are, however, concerns for the future. Our principal difficulties involve lack of staff. Those who make up the present staff here can guarantee the continuation of the centre for at least a few years, but beyond that I have to say that there are question marks. Although it has a reduced workforce, the Maschi Centre's responsibilities include the local parish, where assistance and support for many poor families are priorities. Poverty and instability have been compounded by the so-called Arab Spring, which, says Father Vincenzo, has increased levels of criminality and insecurity. On the other hand, there is now better participation in political and social life, especially among the young. At the same time, there is increased hope arising from a better participation of young people in social life, for example, as well as in politics and in allied fields. And, as you can easily imagine, they want to create something better for themselves. On reflection, I think one can say that the simple facts of this departure from the past and of a revelation of corruption here have been beneficial. Of course, revolutions also have negative aspects, but on the whole, I think we can say that we have hope and that we seek the best. Thank you.